All right, we got this Quicksilver right now. Um, finish this Captain Fantastic Space Missions going in its spot. Simpsons Pinball Party. It's in a little bit of limbo for the next day or two until I see that new lower cabinet show up. Hopefully I'll have it in another day or two. I know it's on the way to me, so that's good. But until then, no point in doing much else with it until you have, especially with the wired play field, where are you going to put it? you got to have somewhere to put it. So uh, I'm going to work on this Quicksilver instead, and um, you can watch. That's what I'm going to tell you. But I'll go over a couple things real quick, best I can, and um, then we'll just get right into it. So... This is a pretty rough version of the game, but it's the real thing. I mean, a lot of people scratch build this game, but uh, biggest issues with it, I can just see at a glance, it's got extreme moisture issues. So much to where you can probably see it right here, but if I just touch this thing to open it, it's just falling apart. And it's got black mold all over the inside of the back box and all over the back side of this lamp panel or some kind of mold. I treat it all like it's toxic. I just, you know, I don't know. But, um, so that's the issue there. It's a little bit pieced together. It's in a couple pieces. Got the wrong spinners, but I'm sure I can strip those and just stencil the right logos or do something there. Uh, the brackets are beat for those spinners. Should be able to come up with something there. It's got this, I don't know. I mean, I've seen pictures of, of uh, Quicksilver. I've never done one, but I've seen pictures of it, and it seems like the apron is usually supposed to be maybe green with yellow art, and this one's got a black apron with orange art, and that might be something that you see on some but uh, whether that's supposed to be like that or could be like that or normally sometimes it's like that I don't know but it doesn't matter it's ugly it's ugly I can't stand it so I'm gonna have to fix that try to get it to uh, something painted on here to match up with the play field it's a strange arch it's a strange art package <laughs> it's a very strange art package you've got a silver cabinet with black details pretty simple in that regard not a three color cabinet but a two color cabinet green play field with yellow accents green and purple i will say uh back glass i mean it's just all over the place and then of course if you throw on that black and orange apron it's, it's getting pretty ugly so we'll see what we can do to make it look a little bit better than it does somebody's cut a hole in the frame in the front of the cabinet not that it matters I'm replacing the cabinet anyway but uh, they've adapted it to a valley lot bar and I've, I've come up with I hope I'm waiting for it to show up but I've come up with the correct lot bar and we'll see what we got to do with that if it's really bad and it's rough then I'll probably do black trim on everything because I can straighten things and um, epoxy prime them and refinish them in black uh, and if it's not, if it's good enough, then we'll, we can regrain it and stick with stainless steel trim. So we'll see about that. And this is just a conglomeration of things I already know I'm going to need. I got a new, I don't know why, but I got a new play field harness. If I was smart, I would have got a new cabinet harness too. I don't know why I didn't, but that's fine. I mean, I got wire. <laughs> it's no, no problem, but... Uh, it would have been easier. I mean, Sean over at Third Coast, man, he makes he makes a really nice wiring harness. So if, if I can buy one, I'd rather just buy one from him than try to make my own or deal with even the repairs on uh, a butchered one. But that that has, you know, we'll see about how that unfolds. It's got new boards for it, including a soundboard. And... I don't know, new mechs, new shit, whatever. Watch me work. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It's It gets to be too much sometimes to try to put all this stuff in words. It's just a lot easier just to do it, and you can watch me do it, and it all makes sense from there. Um, so we'll get set up, and we'll get to working on this thing. I think first things first, I'm going to really gut this thing so I can scrutinize my cabinet. I got a new cabinet for it. I was Like I was telling you, I want to really scrutinize that before I get too deep in the refinishing process only to find out, oh shit, this needs a hole here, or it needs this there, or whatever. I don't want to find that out at the wrong time, so we'll make sure we can really scrutinize the cabinet before we start refinishing it. So we'll get it gutted first. <laughs> Bye. 
Okay. All right, let's talk about what we did. So that's day one. Got the game torn down. Um, I made, you might be watching me when I make this, like I cut the harness in half and made a plug um, for, uh, it was a, there was something that ran all the way from the, the back box lamp panel and the displays all the way down into the cabinet nonstop to the rectifier board. No, no provision, just this whole thing. So it's like, okay, when I put the lamp panel on, now I gotta run all the wires all the way down to the cabinet. No, uh-uh. So uh, I think that was like a 17, 17 wires. So I made uh, a 12 pin and a five pin plug. And so then I was able to divide it, throw that stuff to the side. Now it's a lot more manageable. Everything is rusty and corroded. I mean, beyond belief, beyond belief. There's no, there's no good way to tackle that. So spend a lot of bead blasting all day, bead blasting everything, setting everything up. I'm going to do either one or two things and I haven't decided which one yet. We'll just see, but the coin door, I'm either gonna paint the coin door and the legs, the same silver that I use on the cabinet, and that's what I use on the Captain Fantastic, and do it that way. It was stainless steel trim, or I'm gonna paint the legs and the coin door and the rails and the lock bar, all that in black. It'll be a metallic black. I'm gonna use metallic colors on both, both of it, silver and black metallic. Uh, so I either black it out or I'll do it a little bit closer to original. I don't know, that 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 color scheme that they use on this game is driving me nuts. I, can't, I just, <laughs> I wanna paint the cabinet green is what I wanna do, uh, but I know not to do that. It's Quicksilver, I, I, I just, I don't know. I'll work it out, you know. I just, I'm always trying to do something that looks either correct or looks better than what they did, but not not like a garish way, you know, not in a weird way. So we'll see how that goes. We'll get into that. But man, this thing's, this is a hell of a project right here. I'm not kidding. This thing's rough as hell. And I, uh, I, I man, I, I blasted all that stuff and I'm hoping it might take, I don't know how many days of tumbling it might take to bring that stuff back around from that blasting process. And I've got a really light glass that I use in my, in my, blaster so I mean I'm hitting it about as light as you can hit one and still accomplish it, what you want to accomplish as far as knocking rust off of it and old paint but man I, I might be turning the dial on that thing every day for weeks <laughs> I don't well weeks is probably a stretch but days days for sure and um was hoping to get it done today but I didn't but I need to prime the lamp panel I need to epoxy prime all that metal that I stripped that I'm not tumbling and um, I, you know, I, I already did all the like preliminary test fitting of the glass, making adjustments to the back box, dimpling the back box so I won't have so much work ahead of me when it's time to put it together. Tomorrow I'm gonna need to do the same thing on the lower. I'll probably get into washing all the wires and just uh, maybe starting to prep the cabinet. I don't know. I just, all I know is this is, this is this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> and so here we go, day one.